When Lola Visits by Michelle Sterling and Aaron Asis. When Lola Visits How do I know summer is here? Summer smells like stone fruit ripening on the kitchen counter and jasmine on the bloom everywhere in the neighborhood. Like my baby brother, finger painting out on the deck, and like trouble brewing on a day of absolutely nothing to do. It smells like mango jam simmering on the stove. The first thing my Lola makes after she flies in for her summer stay. It smells like the Sampaguita soap she uses, a scent both familiar and far away. Summer smells like a tumble of dried squid, milk candy, and wooden beads as Lola unzips her old leather suitcase. It smells like cassava cake, covered with smooth and glossy custard, sliding out of the hot oven. As Lola tells us a story about the first time mom made this cake and confused the sugar with the salt. It smells like chlorine from a million swimming lessons at the pool, like blue silence when I'm finally able to float by myself for the first time ever. Summer smells like a freshly opened can of tennis balls to bounce against the side of the house, and gooey sunscreen and salt-soaked swimsuits at the beach. It smells like suman steaming on the stove for afternoon merienda and tiny red chilies spilling into the sizzling sisig as Lola lets me stir, reminding me to scrape the flavorful bits off the bottom of the pan. Summer smells like standing under crisscrosses of tree branches with an apron full of small golden limes, like calamansi pie and fireworks on the 4th of July. It smells like rolling hundreds of lumpia and mixing together pinches of garlic and sharp vinegar. Like warm banana leaves being laid onto the table for... Kamayan! Summer smells like the earliest hours of morning, our lines cast into the lake. Smells like we just caught dinner. Summer tastes like stuffed milkfish and brown sugar bananas grilling on a balmy evening, just like dad always ate when he was a kid. It smells like an unexpected warm, sticky summer rain, and getting drenched while saying goodbye to Lola at the airport.
Our house is a little grayer without her soft, sweet singing in Tagalog and Ilocano. And the bitter melon tastes extra bitter in tonight's dinner. Not how like Lola makes it all. It feels like chilly bits of evening blowing through the calamansi trees. Leaves are starting to pile up in the spot where Lola used to sit next to me. Summer smells like a letter to Lola, sealed in a mint-flavored envelope with bubblegum-scented ink. Wishing that I had a bowl of her arroz caldo to settle my butterflying stomach. Summer feels like the last golden hour of the day, drifting into an indigo night. And it smells like melting cherry ice cream cones as we race our scooters around the block one last time. Until finally, it smells like freshly sharpened pencils, a stiff new backpack, and the last sweet bits of summer in Lola's mango jam. The end.